Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel and the newest vlog. First of all, don't mind the nasally sounds. I have a sinus infection, which is great. Not great because allergies right now mix with sinus infection. It's a no bueno situation, but we will persevere because, you know. So the theme of this vlog, as you've seen from the title already, is I'm going to tr attempt to finish the books that I have on my currently reading list and try to finish them before the end of May. It is current, oops, wrong wrist, wrong wrist because I got stung by a bee today on my bus and the wrist that I usually wear my watch. Anyways. It is currently the 20th of May. There are 31 days in May. 30 days has September, April, June, and November. When sure February comes, all the rest have 31. Yeah, 31 days in May. And that means we have 11 days to finish these books. Let me tell you what we're gonna attempt to read in this vlog. I'm not sure, I feel very kind of overwhelmed, but at the same time, I want these books off my currently reading list. So let's start off with the audiobook that I'm listening to currently, and that is My Roommate is a Vampire by, uh, I don't know, the cover's right here. I'll leave the cover somewhere either here or here. The cover's here. So I'm 52% done with that audiobook, which means there are, let's see, four hours and 19 minutes left in that audiobook. I feel like that's that can easily be done. If you watched my previous vlog, you know my brother and my nephew race, and to get to the racetrack from my house, it's over an hour. So you figure two hours and some odd minutes back and forth, it will get done by the time May is done. So I'm not worried about the audiobook at all, whatsoever. Then, one that I am worried about, on my Kindle, one I've been trying to read forever, I'm really close to almost DNFing this because it's every time I pick it up and I try to read and I go, oh, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish it, it just bores me to death. And that is We Ate the Dark by Mallory Pearson. If you've been watching the vlogs, you know <laughs> I'm struggling with this one. Really struggling. So I don't want to DNF it because I don't like to DNF books. So I kind of want to keep going a little bit, at least get to the halfway point, And maybe then I'll DNF it. But I am on page 119 and it's 28%. We will see. But yeah, I, I'm not sh so sure. I want to continue reading this and I don't I don't feel bad if I don't finish it because it was a first reads it's not like I bought technically I did because I have the membership but I didn't really buy the book it was a first reads pick then we have the house in the cerulean sea by TJ Klune I really enjoyed what I've read so far in this book I believe there was I think when I started reading the Off Campus series by Al Kennedy, I like put this down. <laughs> but I am 221 pages in. There are 396 pages in here. So I'm not too far away from finishing this. Again, this is something I could bring to the track and read in between racing or when I'm home, but I'm not very far from finishing. And I'm and this is a really cute book, I think. I don't think I need an explanation. I, as I read these stories, I will explain what they're about because I feel like some of these stories, a lot of people know what they're about. Like the House in the Cerulean Sea, it's so popular. I don't think you need an explanation from me, but I'll give one when I pick that up again. And then last is Beasts and Beauty, Dangerous Tales by Solman Ch Chayani. And I am 89 pages into this, so not too far. However, this is a 
children's retelling of different fairy tales. I started to read this and I had commented on previous vlogs that I was shocked that this is a kid's book because there are some there's some language in there that I personally don't feel like is appropriate for children. However, I do enjoy the stories. I have enjoyed the stories. And I've tabbed some things. I don't know if you can see my yellow. Let's see. Can you see my yellow tabbies? I have tabbed some really good quotes in here. Let's see if I can grab one. Yeah, I like, a prince's wife helps him lead his kingdom to peace and prosperity. He says sternly, sounds exhausting. She yawns. He stands up. What is it you want then? To run free in the forest in my nightgown and dance the rain, she says. So I think a lot of these stories are about women uprising and just meek characters coming to their full potential and becoming stronger, which I love. A lot of good things in here. So that is what is going to be going on in this reading vlog. I hope you will stick around. Hopefully we can get all four done. And yeah, let's get this going. Why, hello. Good morning. It's 7.55 in the morning. I just made some coffee. It's Friday, and I have the day off today. We had a half day yesterday, which was, <laughs> was a little crazy. So, yes, we have today off. We're going to do a couple things to make ourselves feel elevated, if you will. I have a nail appointment at 10 o'clock to get these taken off my racing nails that only saw two races, which is fine. I have some really cute, I think, gothy spring nails. I think you guys are going to think they're cute. Um, I'm really excited to have them on my claws. But the other things we want to do is I'm going to clean the bed sheets today and just a couple of things around some dishes, things like that. But mainly I want to read and I want to... Um, finish finish one of the videos I've already started and haven't finished it because <laughs> I haven't posted in like eight, as you're as I'm filming I haven't posted in like eight days so I also have a stack of books over here I think I keep saying that are like my hauling books like books I've hauled so I need to make a video on that we have a lot to do but I first want to read 100 pages. I'm mm, page 234, chapter 13 I'm on. So we're kind of close to finishing this book. And yeah, I, I mean, I won't tell you guys what it's about. I feel like everybody and their brother has read House in the Cerulean Sea. T.J. Klune is a loved author now at this point. And yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It was a little weird to kind of jump back in because I did put this down probably because I got distracted by another book, let's be honest, but I think it's really cute, and yeah, I'm going to enjoy my coffee, I'm going to try to read 100 pages, and then we're going to go get our nails done. Let's do this. Now, what is this lighting? <laughs> Sun, excuse me. 
don't mind my little vacuum down here. He is doing his job. So I have my nails done. Look how freaking cute. I don't even know if it will pick it up, but they are so stinking cute. I freaking love them. They're definitely like goth spring. Totally me. Totally my vibe. I just love them. She's so talented. It's just insane to me. I also just ate some lunch and uh, I'm going to read a little bit continuing with the house in the cerulean sea and then I'm going to get to editing. The bed sheets are in the washing machine. I did dishes before I left my nail appointment. We are getting things done today. I am doing some editing, lots of editing, but I thought I'd share my favorite. I'm going to call it one of my favorite summertime snacks and these are these bad boys which are pink lemonade Twizzlers. They're so good. I got them at Target. Oh my god. They're a filled Twizzler. I don't know if you can see them. But these are so good. They have one that's like um orange cream soda as well. If you can get your hands on those. Those are actually better than the pink lemonade but I saw pink lemonade and I was like, yes. The house in the Cerulean Sea. I'm at the point where Arthur and Linus take the kids into town. And you know something's bad going to happen. So I'm going to put it down. I don't want anything bad to happen to them. Mm, these poor kids. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. It's 9.42 in the morning to be precise. Guys, I'm less than 100 pages away from finishing The House in the Cerulean Sea. I'm on page 306, just about to get into chapter 16, and some secrets have come out. Some secrets have come out. If you know, you know. I believe everyone and their mother knows. <laughs> Um, it's supposed to be really rainy and gloomy soon. It's supposed to thunder and lightning around 2 o'clock. It's already starting to look gloomy, if that makes any sense. Um, so it's going to be a good day for reading. A good day for hopefully finishing vlog number 29, because it needs to be done. And, yeah, I already ate my lunch this, mor this morning. There it is. I had my classic two sunny side up eggs and toast <laughs> and it's just going to be a day of editing and reading pretty much which is perfect for an upcoming stormy day <laughs> I just miss you more than anything It's way too quiet in the house I'm just wasted on the couch Cause I don't wanna feel anything Wish you'd stay Stay here beside me This isn't how it's supposed to be Wish you'd stay Can't shake that feeling that we said goodbye too soon. I know the hour's getting late. I shouldn't sit here contemplating. I just can't stop thinking about us. I won't forget a single thing From drunken nights to Sunday mornings And how you smile at me Wish you'd stay Stay here beside me This isn't how it's supposed to be Wish you'd stay Stay here right with me I can't shake that feeling 
That doesn't look comfortable, girlfriend. Look at your belly hanging. <laughs> Is that comfortable? It doesn't look comfortable. <laughs> Too legit. That doesn't look very comfortable. I guess carry on. What are you doing? You're gonna fall. day. Not only did I finish my roommate's vampire, which we'll talk about in a moment, but central air got put into the house. I don't know if you can hear. Hold on. Can you hear that? I don't know if it will pick up on camera, but that is the sound of air conditioning flying through the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Goodbye, really humid days. You're gone. See ya. So anyways, I did finish My Roommate is a Vampire, and I freaking love it. I gave it four stars. I just ate some. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing. Um, so I gave it four stars. I thought it was hysterical. If you want to read it, I I can't even believe I'm saying this. Do it audio style because the narrator is the best. She uses different voices for different characters and I laughed out loud just because of how she expressed different scenes and stuff. So what it, the book is about is it follows this vampire, Frederick, who was asleep for like 200 years and when he woke up, he knew nothing of the world. So he put out this ad to have a roommate. And this roommate is, um, oh, why can't I think of what her name is? Cassie. Her name is Cassie. So Cassie applies for this, you know, apartment. And she's going to teach him how to handle the world now. There's this one really funny scene where they're they're at this coffee shop where she works and he's trying to order a coffee even though he's not going to drink the coffee. And these coffee names are like ridiculous and he's like, "Why would you why would you call it that? Why would <laughs> He's just making a scene and it was good. I really liked it. Also, if you are a huge Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan, which 
I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer. There are a lot of references to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. There's a lot of talk about the scenes from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And I, I personally think the banter between Cassie and Frederick sometimes reminds me of Spike and Buffy sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. Just that humor that was in that show. I loved it. And any book that can make really good references, not just like your typical Buffy references, but this one was like pure, you had to be a fan to understand references, and I adored it. So four stars to that one. On that note, I'm almost done with House in the Cerulean Sea. I am 348 pages in, so we're nearing the end. I think when I come back home after doing my after afternoon run. <laughs> We're about to be interrupted by my vacuum cleaner, Natalie's, or Tula's. Anyways, I really like this book so far. I think it's great. It's very um, cozy, found family, and just kind of how cruel people can be with other people's differences, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to finish this when I get back home. I believe it would be book 23. And also, that makes it two books down of the four books that I wanted to finish before the end of May. Because we have not money, much longer in May. Today's the 28th, so it means I would have to finish We Ate the Dark and Be Some Beauty. Will I finish it all? No, but at least two is better than none, right? Hello, hi, what is going on? I finished another book. It's it's over here. I already put it over here. Um, right <laughs> there. Da -da. So I finished House in the Cerulean Sea, and oh my god, I'm sad that I had put it down originally. Not because I wasn't liking it, but because I my brain just wanted something different. I don't know, but it was so heartwarming. I finished it at like two o'clock in the morning. I should have been sleeping, but I finished it. It was so heartwarming. If you have not read this, the hype is real. The hype is real. Read it. It's awesome. Supposedly, there is a second book coming out in the series. I love it. I'm not going to tell you guys what it's about because everyone and their mother has read it already, pretty much. But it was so heartwarming. So whimsical. Found family. Just this almost study of how some people treat other people because they're different. And I just, mm, it was good. It really warmed my heart. So that actually officially, because there's only, I think tomorrow is the last day in May. That means officially I have finished six books. Now I know two of them were books that, I had already started, like House in the Cerulean Sea, I had already started. I did do some audiobooks. That is an awesome reading month for me. So what I plan on doing, because I've been using, as it's called Storygraph, I think, I plan on kind of showing what the graphs look like from my reading months and really keeping track of that. I think tomorrow, not today because... Thursdays are chaotic, but I think tomorrow I will film a uh, wrap-up, a May wrap-up, because I don't foresee me getting through any other books. Yeah. <laughs> so I will do a wrap-up, and then, I don't know, I think we're just, I'm not going to do a June TBR. I think we're just going to keep trucking on the stuff that I'd already picked that I planned on reading in May, never got to. But I do have some books I need to haul. So there might be a haul video coming up in June. June is also my birthday month. So one of the things I want to do for my birthday is go book shopping. There are two places that have used books that I know of. In the town where I work in Hilton, there's a used bookstore. And then Liftbridge, which is in Brockport, downstairs has a used book section. So I just, I don't know, for my birthday, I just, that's what I want. It's also 
we're nearing the end of the school year. I think we have two weeks left. And then my first official school year as a bus driver will end. It's crazy. It's crazy to me. So I'm going to figure out what I want to do next for my reading plans. I have a couple of books I could choose from. I still kind of want to continue the rom-com thing. Of course, there's still Beasts and Beauty that I didn't finish. And then <laughs> We Ate the Dark, which, <laughs> let's be honest, should I DNF it by now? Probably, but... Mm. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Sorry for the glitter. Let's see if that works a little bit better. <laughs> I have to wear my glasses. I woke up. Well, I've been having a problem with this eye for like, I don't know. Do you see? It's kind of like you can tell it's not opening all the way. <laughs> Great. Become a bus driver. Get these weird child diseases. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's Saturday. I'm not doing much today, not leaving the house, which means I get to read a lot of Fantastic Land. I, this book is so addicting. I am on page 90, so I'm almost at 100 pages, and it has gone from just not, like, not so gruesome to, like, now it's really gruesome. I would best describe this, and this is how other people have described this to me, is Lord of the Flies but make the scene in a theme park with like interview style. So it's very much this guy who's writing a book and he's doing like interviews. So it says interview number nine, you know, would be the next one. Elvis Springer, security manager at Fantastic Future World, leader of the robots. So yeah. I am loving this so far, and every time I have been bringing this with me to work, so every time I have an opportunity, you know, in between my runs while I'm sitting in the bus waiting for my kids to come out, I have been reading, and I love it. Um, I'm also listening, so this round of audiobooks, I am listening to Funny Story, Funny Story by Emily Henry. I'm about 16% into that going to the track tomorrow. That's what I will be listening to. I also have to do some dishes, so I'll probably be listening to that while I'm doing some dishes. And yeah, it's going to be a chill day. I think when Don gets home, we have some plants we need to plant in the front yard. So I think, yeah, we're going to do some couple productive things. Although I don't know how much I'm going to want to be outside because I have this thing going on. My allergies are bad. Sinuses are not, they're not up to par. Yeah, I'm going to do some reading and chill. Eventually get in the shower <laughs> make myself look kind of decent. Oh, happy June, by the way. Happy June. It's June 1st. Happy June. Good morning. Hello. It is Wednesday, the 19th 
of June and we are gonna this vlog has gone on too long <laughs> today I'm a day off it is it is Juneteenth so we have the day off um, today we're gonna finish this we're gonna finish Beast and Beauty and we're gonna end this vlog of finishing all the books I've started and haven't finished now I did finally after saying it for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks I did DNF we ate the dark <laughs> I'm over that book I can't deal with it any longer so that is done um, it's extremely warm here in New York we are under a heat advisory and I being the crafty person that I am not really bought a blow-up pool I have a blow-up ring this is the most ridiculous thing you're gonna ever see however it does trick so I'm going to read for like an hour two hours in this <laughs> it's just enough water for me to be floating and I love it I love it it's been really nice uh, the past couple days getting off a really hot bus. I just come home and I sit in there with the tube sometimes, sometimes without the tube. I just will dunk my whole body in there. And it's so refreshing on these hot days. It's fantastic. So I'm going to prepare myself a sippy cup of water and we're going to do a little bit of reading today. gave it 3.75 stars <laughs> there's gonna be lots of noises going on but we need to close this vlog out um, so I liked the stories in here I liked the unique twists of just these tales that we've all grown up with however when I purchased this I got this out of the children's section like middle grade children's section and to me, if I had a daughter that was reading middle grade, I don't know that I would, or a son, daughter or son, I don't know that I would 
let them read this. There are some thing, some, some themes and some wording that I personally just don't, wouldn't feel comfortable having a middle grade kid read this. For instance, in the beginning, talks about Red Riding Hood and then the wolf coming to get a girl and the wolf pissing on doors and um, the ending part uh, with Peter Pan one of the one of the pirates calls Peter an ass. I just don't know that those are words that middle grade kids should read. I know kids hear these words, but in books I don't I don't think is appropriate for kids. So three point seven five stars for me. This is book twenty six that I have finished for the year. I'm quite proud of myself. And um yeah, we're going to move on to some fun summer reads. I may or may not vlog the next couple books I read. I'm not sure. My mom will be here next week as I'm filming. <laughs> it, it is the last couple days of school. Tomorrow is the last day of school for me driving. And it's going to be madness. So with that, I'm going to close the vlog. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and sticking around the end so we can get these off of our TBR. If you've read any of the picks I read in this vlog, let me know in the comments down below. If you read any of them, read Fantastic Land, please. Like, I think that's going to be the best book I've ever read this year. Uh, so read Fantastic Land. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe, become a member of this beautiful bookish family. If you made it to the end, leave me a book stack emoji. Let me know what is on your TBR currently that you need to read like it needs to get off your tbr or you need to dnf it like i did we ate the dark let me know in the comments down below and with that i will see you all real soon in my next video bye